Hello everyone, my name is Ninja Derpifier and welcome to Indie Game Slice, the show all about indie games. Bye -bye. Dev Sneak Peek. Nomura is now available on Desura, so updating to new alpha builds will be much simpler and the game will get some extra exposure on the digital platform. If you already bought the game prior to it being available on Desura, you should receive an email with your Desura copy. Along with the new purchase method, version 0.8.1 has been released. A whole heap of bug fixes, performance improvements and general stabilizing of the game is included, along with some new artwork for plank walls, crates, barrels and bags. Saint Chicken is a unique and quirky game for Mac and PC where you'll play as a lost pet guppy with special healing powers. Controlling Saint Chicken, players spawn, nourish and protect a school of offspring, guiding them through a series of lakes and estuaries in search of lost sacred aquarium relics. Players unlock levels by spawning as many baby guppies as possible. To spawn offspring, Saint Chicken needs to eat nutrients from food in the water. Once Saint Chicken eats enough food, a baby guppy is born. Throughout the game, the player will spawn hundreds of offspring and use Saint Chicken to shepherd them through the perils of the wild to safety. The babies are dependent on Saint Chicken for nourishment and guidance. So if you love swimming around as a pixelized fish protecting your precious offspring, check out Saint Chicken in the links below. Cube Man is a fast-paced, action-packed, original 3D tower defense mixed with RTS. It's the age-old struggle between good versus bad, blue versus red, little men versus little men. Use your own little cube men to defend your base from other little cube men that are trying to run it over. It's the usual story, but with many new interesting twists. Play a purely defensive game in various modes on a sweet selection of levels, or go into skirmish mode and play a new type of tower defense game against either the computer or another human opponent. That's right, two-way, real-time tower defense against the computer or a real person. There are no static towers, just little men. Spawn your little cube men with orders to go to a certain location to attack or defend. You can move your cube men around the board at any time or click on an enemy to target them. It's tower defense like you've never seen or experienced before. Oh! A new update version 1.1 was released today which includes 2-6 to six player online on 6 new maps, new units and game modes, bug fixes and performance improvements. The game is being well looked after post launch which is great to see from developers big and small. This looks like a nice twist on the tower defense genre and moving your cube men around can certainly make things more interesting. The game is available on Desura right now for $2 which is 60% off the normal price. Onikin is a 2D platform action indie game that makes use of the 8-bit graphic style. The developers have said they put a great deal of effort into guaranteeing the game feels like an old NES game. Everything in Onikin, from the character design to the music, is a tribute to the 8-bit action games from the NES era. So if you have uber nostalgia for games like this and want to put your action platforming skills to the test, Onikin will be available June 22, 2012 for $5.50. You can also try out a free demo of the game over at Desura, so a link to that is below. So with all of that said and done, we're at the end of episode 5 of Indie Game Slice. I apologise for the longer time between episodes, I'm starting to think this might become a weekly show because sometimes there isn't a whole lot to show in the indie game scene. Thanks for watching, my name is Ninja Derpifier and I'll see you in another video!